Here's our Rick's tip of the week. You know how we train and we overtrain and we think the more training we do, the better we're going to get and the bigger we're going to get. And you know, like it's a vicious circle. You train hard and you get a good pump and then you train beyond the pump thinking, oh, I need to do another set because I need a bigger pump. Well, basically you're defeating yourself because you're working past your pump and you're making your muscle retract like a turtle's head because it's getting too much work and it's just starting to disappear on you. And then you come in the next day and you do the same thing. So you always think that, oh, the more I do, the bigger I'll get and the better I'll get. Well, to a point, but you got to have your rest days. It's very important to have your rest. It's equally as important to rest as it is to train because you're tearing your muscle down when you train and you're rebuilding it when you sleep and when you rest. Now, the other factor is when you rest, don't, don't discount those rest days on your diet because it's very important to have your protein high to have your carbs and all the things you need to go back into your body to rebuild it while it's resting. You can't starve it that day. You really need to eat consistently the same thing when you train, the same thing when you don't train. And it's also important that you, you get a good night's sleep and if you can get a nap in the afternoon, even better. Now I know the economy's hard, we have to have jobs, it's really hard to take off and do these things. Back in the 70s, we were very fortunate because we did film work that we could train in the morning and we could sleep in the afternoon. We'd go to the beach and take a nap for two hours. Those days are gone, unfortunately. But uh, I know a lot of guys made good gains on that because they would train, rest for an hour, nap, and go back and train again and then sleep at night. So just remember, this is a really good tip. Take those rest days. They're well needed. And make sure you eat properly on those days so that you rebuild your muscle and bring it back so you get a good pump on the next workout. I was training six days a week, all the time. Every day, six days a week, take Sunday off. Sunday when I didn't train, I was exhausted. I mean, I literally was exhausted all day long. And my body wasn't used to being off. Now I've dropped back to four days a week. I have one day on, one day on, and then one day off, one day on, and two days off. I've made a remarkable improvement in my, in my strength and my size because of those days off. I never believed it was going to happen because I was very stuck in my ways of training every day, but those days off really do count. And when I go back after two days off, I'm stronger, I get a better pump, and my, my, my frame of my mind is really ready to train because when you train every day and you train so hard, you do get burnt out, and you do get overtrained, and you get overtrained mentally where you don't even want to train anymore. So remember, here's my tip. Take those days off, rest, take a nap, sleep, and eat, and you'll make better progress. And that's Rick's tip of the week. Mm -hmm.